DM Science and Plants World presents about the mixed inflorescence. In previous sessions, we already discussed about the racemose inflorescence based on main axis elongated, short tendered, and flat tendered, and also about the cymose inflorescence. In this video, we are going to see about the mixed inflorescence. Mixed inflorescence contains two types of inflorescence that is, thyrosis and verticillaster. First, we are going to see about the mixed inflorescence. The inflorescence which contains both the pattern of racemose and cymose in developing the single individual inflorescence is said to be an mixed inflorescence. First, racemose. As I said in previous session, racemose has the capability of growing continuously. Particularly, the central axis or peduncle of inflorescence has the capability to grow continuously. In case of cymose, which is opposite to the racemose pattern, here the central axis or peduncle of the flower stop growing at a particular stage and produce the flower. So, this is about the racemose and cymose. Now, we are going to see about the mixed inflorescence Tyrosis. It is a racemo of cyme. As I said before, this mixed inflorescence tyrosis contain both the raceme and cymose pattern. Here the indefinite central axis bear a lateral pedicellated cyme. Indefinite central axis means the racemose pattern of peduncle has the lateral pedicellated cyme. Cyme is the inflorescence which contains the pedicellated flaws. Pedicel is defined as the stalk of the flower which helps to attach the flower to the central axis. So, if the flower contains the pedicel means it is said to be an pedicellated flower. So, the inflorescence sign altogether it is called as pedicellated sign. Here the simple or compound dicasium sign pattern present in the thyrosis. Example for this is osimum. Here you could find the central axis which has the many lateral pedicellated signs yes that round symbol denotes the flower and the stalk like structure which follows it is called as pedicel which is considered as the pedicel of the flower so if the arrangement appears like this the central axis produce the lateral sign so the, then it is called as tyrosis to know detail about the racemose and cymose pattern of inflorescence have a look on the link which are given in the description box next one is the verticel or verticillaster here the main axis bear two opposite lateral sessile sign at the axial of node yes node is a point where the leaf or a flower or a branch produced from the stem of the plant and the sessile sessile is defined as the flower which doesn't contain the pedicel that is stack of the flower if it is absent in a flower then it is said to be an sessile flower here in verticillaster mixed inflorescence the central axis that is peduncle of the inflorescence contains two opposite lateral sessile sign inflorescence. In the monocasial scorpioid sign present in the sessile manner and it produces the crowd like structure at the node point of the plant. Example for this is leucus. The monocasial scorpioid sign has the axis which develops on the alternate side and often produce the coil like structure which helps to form the crowd around the node point of the plant. So this is the leucus aspera plant. Here you could find the white color floss which present in the node point which is crowded with the green leafy like structure. So, this is about the mixed inflorescence 
Thank you so much for watching.